Hi, it's Sue from Grateful Journals, and today I just wanted to go over about how you can change colors inside your PowerPoint templates. So there's two things that you want to be aware of. Um, it all depends too on how the template was set up in the first place. So the basic way to change your colors would become to go to the design tab at the top here, and then you come to variants, click on the drop down arrow and colors and then you can see, and if you watch the screen, you can see everything is changing colors. Right? So here you can pick whichever color scheme that you like. And, and everything on here will change. Right? So we can just change it to this one here. All right, so that's very simple. And there is, ver um, at the top here, you can do the grayscale. So if you just want to turn everything into black and white, there's the grayscale one, which can be super helpful as well. So that's the first way, the easiest way to do it if the PowerPoint has been set up using one of those color schemes. Now, the issue that you can, may come to is when we do something like this, and on this one, I've used custom colors. So if I were to click on this table and come to table design and the shade in, right, you can see not everything is going to change, right? So we can highlight stuff and then we can do the shade in and then it will all change color. So we can do it like that and you have to just pick your color. But say, for example, you wanted to keep this kind of color scheme, but you just want to change the colors. You literally have to come in here and do one line at a time, pick your new color and then just go through it like that. Right, so say you wanted yeah, bright pink just to show you. So you'd have to come through and change everything bit by bit. The same with the notes here. Right, so we can we can do the shade in and you know it's gonna shade the whole thing. So just to do the top, you just want to make sure that you've got your mouse in the top so it's all selected here. And then we can just change it there, but it's not gonna do it automatically. So you'd have to come in and pick your colors that you want and then come in and change things. The same as this, this is a picture. So click on picture, come to color, and you've got some different you know, uh, variations on here. And again, these variations will change depending on what color scheme you pick. So if we come back over here to the colors and say we wanna pick the blue, now, when we come to format this picture and come to colors, you'll see that the colors at the bottom have changed. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. So now we can change everything here. All right now, if you're doing custom colors and you know you want to get these colors into um, your color scheme, the easiest way to do it is just put in either the colors. If you've got a color swatch, just drag it in or, or the image that you've taken the colors from, drag it in and pop it under the slide. And then simply just come in here and you want to come to, we want the color picker actually. So yeah, more variations. Okay. So here we go, more variations and then oops, come down to the eyedropper and you simply just start Pick, pick the color that you wanted to use. Okay, now this is the picture. So we might actually want to um, just do a copy and paste to duplicate this. Okay, so then we come back in here and then you're just going to like get the eyedropper and pick up the eyedropper and then just grab that color. Okay, and then all I do is just undo and then you can do the same thing again and grab the next color. Okay, now what you'll notice is that when we come to, let's just draw a shape in here for you. Let's just draw a quick shape. So now when we want to fill the shape here, you'll see that under recent colors, you've got the colors that you've just picked from that word celebrate, right? So that's that's the easiest way to do it. And then you just keep them in here and then you've got your custom colors that you want to use in your template. So just remember, you know, when, uh, whichever template you open, just try to um, go to the design, pick a different color palette that you, is similar to what you want to use. So if you're looking for greens and see if it changes, 
Now, if it changes, that's pretty easy, but you have to remember too that some things may not change. Some of the images and the photos may not change. You may have to do those manually, but a good chunk of everything will change. Like the tables and the lines will all change the colors depending on what color that you um, select in here. And then if not, you want to do your custom colors, then you know, like you said, you just select where you want the custom color, pick your color either from the palette up here or your recent colors or use your eyedropper to pick up a color. Okay. So that's the easy way. That's the two different ways that you can change the colors inside of PowerPoint. And again, if you want to add things like a logo in here, it's just simply insert a picture. Uh, let's just grab a quick picture here. So we'll save that butterfly was my logo. So you just put it in here and you can just place it wherever you want it to. Right, so that is the very basics of doing that. There's a lot more that we could discuss about using uh, master slides, to, for, especially for the logo. But I just want to keep this basically just about changing the colors um, and the, the two easy ways uh, that you can do that. So hope that helps. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks.